two winners, four losers. Ah. 40 cents to enter. I think the top prize is 147 and second prize is a little bit more than what your entry fee was. Let's see who we got. We got a UK player on my left. We got a UK player there. Looks like I'm in the big tent, isn't it? Another UK player there. Another UK player there. And token Brazilian on my right, which is where you want them. You want your fast and loose and aggressive players on your right so that you can back out when they put down the money. Looks like we've got a fairly aggressive player at the top there. Obviously I'm just going to fold. Didn't really have anything. Bit of a novice move there, showing, you, showing what you had. Showing the ace. Bit of a novice move. Looks like we've got action already. In this game, we play until everyone's knocked out, until there's only one player left, and that's the winner. Uh, simply a six-handed tournament, basically. Showing us their cards again. Don't know why. hand that I call the mountain. I call this the mountain K2. And I'm folding the mountain. Am I? Oh no, I don't know. I might call No, I'm going to fold it. Let them go in for their cheap flop. Their queen sixes and their ten sixes and watch them take each other to the cleaners. See the four fives and the four sevens looking at their straights now, possibly coming through. Well, I doubt anyone went in with four five, but there's a flush there now, the diamond flush, which would have been no good to me because someone has a better diamond than that. There it is. Well, you're all going to fish like that. What do you expect? Dead man's hand wins. Are they going to show me every bloody hand now? That donkey up there. Okay, we're looking at a wheel draw and a, and a, and a flush draw at the same time. And it's pretty cheap to see, to see cards at this point in the game. So we're going we're gonna to pay the 20. Middle pair, still got the uh, straight draw. I've not got the flush draw. I'd quite like to hit another three, really. Come on, let's have another three. I think I've probably got this, but I'm not going to put any money down. Oh no, they had, they've had. Oh look, they hit trip nines. Well, they should have, uh, they should have put money down there. Well, the one was 20. You want to win more than that for, um, for trips. So that was a very odd play. That was donkey play. Also, they should have protected their nines. Hmm... I'm going to fold. So nearly called. Cool. 
Let's see. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, full house. And the other eight was there as well. All the eights out there. Look at that. 888 poker. Should have realised. Should have realised I'm playing 888 poker. Um, not folding that. Action. Action. Carpenter's not giving the other players a chance to see whether they've actually got something. Carpenter's so busy representing that they've got something that they haven't actually checked to see whether this player has really got something. I think they've been trapped. Or were you fishing? Either Batter Skull was fishing or trapping. They were trapping. They were trapping all along. Now you're tilting. Now you're tilting. Now you're desperate. Is this donkey going to call you? You were fishing. Well, you weren't fishing, but you weren't paying attention. You were not giving them a chance to raise by checking. So you had no feedback at all on what was happening with them, and they were trapping you. Now they're going to call you. They've got King Jack, or better, I would say. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the showdown. Queen 8. Oh, they're not quite King Jack. I think you might actually even have them here with his sixes. That was a bit of a stupid hand to call with. That was a stupid hand to call with. I don't want to see all the other cards. It's just confusing me. Okay? Maybe you don't get a... Well, I'm going to leave you with the line. No, I'm going to... Yeah, you don't get the line. I'm going to give you the shark. You play too many hands. I've got dead man's hand. Eights have been lucky. But I don't need to play right now. I'm just going to leave it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. doing this to me on purpose, isn't it? It's doing that on purpose. Whenever I fold, it gives me those bloody eights. And now I sit back and watch them all represent the cards that only I actually hold. I'm not going to be like those guys at the top and show them to everyone afterwards. I would certainly won't be doing that. I don't do that. See, look at that foolishness. So what if you had eight too? You bloody fool. If I fold this, you know, it'll be 4-4-10 four, four, on the flop. But if I play, it'll be King-Queen-Jack. You mark my words. It'll be all diamonds on the flop, because I've folded it. Maybe not. 
just a straight draw. Looking for the Queen King. Because you want to be, you want them to hit their pairs as you hit your straight. Okay, six. That's an easy fold. A button I can press so that I don't have to look at their cards. Okay, it's nine now. We might get a bit, bit of action here. People are committed. Call and call. <clears throat> Queen's looking good if he doesn't get the straight. Yep. Well, trip Queen's just to rub it in. Just to rub it in. They've gone. I'm going to raise with it this time. It's my turn. I'm just looking at the players and thinking well, they can afford they can both afford to let that go. Okay, I've got a pair and I've got an ace. It's only middle pair, but I like the ace. And I'm all in. I'm all in with my ace. They're gonna have to put me on six eight. Semi bluff, they're gonna put me on six eight and they're gonna have to fold. That's that. Ace five. Isn't that what I just had? I might get dragged into the uh, show by the big blind. If there are no raises. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm not going all in with Ace-5. Ace-10 and Ace-9. Ace-10 is looking good. Certainly beats my Ace-5, and it also beats the Ace-9. Yes, well, you don't need to show us your cards this time. my fingernails. I don't think we get breaks at these um, sit and go single table tournaments. 50, I can let that go. Can you let the 100 go though? Jack. So again, I'm looking at how committed these players are that are in the blinds. That guy at the top, there's a chance he might call because he's got 10% of his stack there in the blind. He might call just anyway. Oh, he's calling with his, he doesn't want to let the small blind go. So we may get three callers here. Three way, three way board. I mean, three way. Uh, no, it's just going to be the two of you. He must have something good, this player on my left. He must at least have a king or an ace in there. And the level isn't that high. The standards aren't that high at this table. But I suspect a king or an ace, yes, he's got the ace. That's going to help him against those queens. Oh, 
I wouldn't have called with 8-8s, eight ace, but um, Yeah, I know it's annoying. It's annoying when they call with ace-8 eight and hit the ace. They really shouldn't have called. You're going to put him all in as well now. Another 8-6. Heads up, I quite like 8-6 heads up. I don't like it with the table this big though. There's too, still too many people at the table. I mean, there's three maybe. Well, that's all academic because... Yeah, but they didn't have to play, so there was no... It was easy to raise them out of it. Ten ja oh no, this is a decent hand. A half decent hand at last. Oh, well, I could just get to check because I'm in the big blinds. Um, Semi-bluff on the heart flush. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Shouldn't have called, should you? Did you not have me down as a tight player? Who's the tall stack at the table now? Fold that. I think you might get a caller on my left though. Tilting. They might well tilt and call you with 6-8. No. A lot of money here being lost in blinds at this stage. Certainly can't play 6-3, and I won't play 6-3. And I'm just going to fold it. Go on, try and steal it and get called. I want you to wipe each other out. Go on, wipe each other out. Stop showing me your cards, it distracts me. Wow. I almost feel I should call. I think I've got a good chance with KJ. 3, 8, and 7, 7. Took them both down. Took them both down, baby. Look at that. 5,000. Near to 5,000 in chips. Raise again then. Got the ice cream now. Huh. Jack, Queen, King, Ace. I need that ten. Oh well. I made it to the actual 5,000. I can't answer the phone right now. I'm playing poker now. I'm going to. F oh, check. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It would be funny if the eight came up. You know, the eights have been... Oh. Club flush. Club flush. 
and then let it go. I've broken my concentration now. I don't want to see that bloody thing either. Come on then, let's be avenue. Go on, let's have a look at 3.8, but it's just for 100. You never know. <laughs> I mean, they are a donkey, but I'm not going to play against them. Yeah, they had trip sevens. Let's see you go up against each other. Come on. Let's see you play properly. Hit your queens, let's see you out kicker each other with your queens. Queen king against queen eight. Oh, ten nine, eh? Well, not my hand of choice. Yep, I check. You're going to give me the eights. Come on, where's my internet? I've got a four. Yeah, quick check. Three, four, five, six. I think they're just faking it, but I don't care. I'm not going to play. Could have ace two. I really need to file this nail. It's, it's annoying me. I'm biting it and chewing it up. I need my nails nice and smooth when I'm playing poker. I think it's biting it. It's the nervousness of playing. Sometimes you want players to show you their cards, but when they do it all the time, it's actually really annoying. Got the flush. You're out, baby. You are out. Gone. Gone, baby. Gone. <laughs> the spirit of Tony G.
Instacool. That is an Instacool. Trip tens. What a way to win. What a way to win a tournament. Trip tens, baby. Bring me more Russians. <laughs> so, that is also a Tony G quote. <laughs> that wasn't me. I've got nothing against Russians. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, that's made my weekend. Cheery bye.